Welcome to jobskillshare.org. This video is a part two of our first video. We created a Make Your IT Job Easy with this one tool and we discussed the Mobex term tool, how it can make your job easy. Today we are going to get a little bit more uh, details about this tool and then also use another tools and how to make your job easy with a little bit um, real world scenarios. So let's get to our computer. So if you're watching this video for the first time, please watch the first video. That will make sense. So in this video, we are going to create. Uh, so we have Mobex term, and what we did, we created a folder here. I right-clicked on it, create a new session, and then in that session, I create, I picked a shell which is CMD. I clicked on it, and then uh, I have it right here. Okay. Now what we need to do is to get to another computer right now nothing will happen if you click on this it's just a CMD shell but to get to another computer we are going to use another tool from Microsoft which is portable and if you go to Google type sys internals in sys internals you'll click on the first link right here it will take you to this right here you can read about that and basically a portable type of tools that you can use or uh, for troubleshootings and doing different type of tasks so the one that we are looking is in network utilities and it is uh, called PS Exact and it should be under PS uh, think should, PS Tools sorry not PS Wow so if you click on PS Tools right here these are the different type of tools that it will come when you download PS Exact is the one that we are looking for it execute processes remotely and then you have other ones too like PS Ping, PS File, PS Logs you can do other ones too but this one is the one that we are interested in PS Exact so when you click on it it will basically download a zip file let me show it to you guys and then you can unzip it once you unzip that uh, you will see all the tools right here like this is the one that we were looking for so if you have a system that is 32-bit system you need to copy this file to your C drive if you have a PS, uh, sorry 64-bit system then you need to copy this one I copied both of it just for you know for this video but I should be doing 64 bits because I have a 64 bit system to check your system you right click on your start menu go to computer on Windows 7 or Windows 10 click on system and then you see mine 64 bit so I'll copy this file into my C drive let me confirm that and go to C drive so you see right here I have PS exact 64 bit I have other ones too but this is the one that I'm going to be using okay so that's the first step you need to do now to connect to a different machine what you need to do is to type this PS exec 64 backslash actually it's PX like that 64 backslash backslash this is where you need to type the computer name remote computer name which is job skill share one is my active directory server and what you need to do is what do you want to open on that computer I want to open CMD so basically in this computer I can go here and type uh, like you know I can go here and type CMD and on local this, this is an app server computer this is a different computer okay so if I type IP config look at this I have 172 address but I'm doing actually the same thing on a remote machine by doing that method that I just showed you so if you click on here you can see right here it actually went out there executed it and now I'm connected to the CMD of that computer so if I do IP config you can see it's 171 which is a different computer now this is just an example of you know how to get into a different machine so basically whatever you're doing for your job right now whatever uh, what, what command that you're using for specific thing that you can use directly from here now two ways to save this log is to just right click and you can save it to file you can copy all um, or you can uh, output this to some kind of uh, a share folder now the real world scenario will be that you want to gather information from a machine but you uh, you can either do you know, right click and copy this way but you want to uh, you know when you run this command you want to automatically put it into some file 
To do that, since you're on a remote machine, you can't just use C drive and then put the path. It's not going to work because it's going to try to put that file into that computer local folder. So what you need to do is, for example, you need to go to the machine that you're running mobile XTERM on. You need to go to the file explorer, go to documents, and in documents, let's say for example, I want to use logs1 folder right here now two ways one is a share path one is just using a C dollar so the C dollar is also the network path so let me just explain what I'm talking about here if you want to dis you put this information into this machine which is the app server you need to do it this way app server C dollar sign so you see app server C dollar sign and then it will go to the users and lab user and in lab user documents to see how I get to log one of course if you're trying to do this on a home computer or you're trying to do this on a computer that you don't have access it will not work this is only for people that are help desk administrators and they have access so we're not talking about username and password here if you do have anything like that then you uh, you need to figure that out go to Google and type see how you can get the username and password into this PXC I'm not gonna do that because usually that don't happen when you work as an administrator in a company so you have access to these computers okay so this is how I'm getting to that uh, uh, this file I'm, this is how I'm gonna do the log file and put it in here into this log one folder so to get that command you just need to do IP config use this key it's, a, it's going towards right you see the the facing towards right side and then you just basically copy paste that path and here you need to specify what file do you want to create on that so I want to say output .txt so once you do that and you know you don't get any errors I can go back and I know I just created that look at this so you see how it put all these uh, information into a file now uh, and another way is using a share folder most of the people use this for a very big task so if you have something 300 machines you probably want to create a share folder so then everybody can you know when you uh, apply this command then it goes out and then gather information and put it back into the share folder so um, that's usually used for like you know people logging into the servers and then you know you want to know who logged on who logged off kind of things like that so to do that you just need to right click on the logs properties go to sharing advanced sharing share this folder and then you go to permissions and in permissions I'm going to add the lab user account and I'm just gonna give it full rights for now you can play around with these permissions if you have any issues apply okay and you're done so what you need to do now instead of using C dollar sign you can use this method also now so if I go back here and I remove all of this and I just right click paste and then output let's do 2.txt so that got created. You see how using this method also works? Using this method also works. Let's, con let's confirm it. And there you go. Now you should be asking me a question that why would you use something like this? You know, what's the reason behind this? Now, most of the time when you work in a help desk environment, maybe you'll come across something like this, but when you work in a system admin or networking, uh, most of the things are related to logs. You know, you work on an application uh, that is like you know is a main core application that people use and then you will get calls related to some very specific thing and then you need to look logs you know and this is where logs are going to be really big logs and that's where you come in and you find some issues in there or maybe you need to find specific thing in logs each day every day and that's where it comes it, it becomes more advanced stuff like you know then how do you read logs how do you use uh, uh, tools like Splunk and other kind of tools to uh, you know gather information from these logs and that's where it becomes it, that's where it comes to that level of system administration which is a little bit different than help desk then
but again I, you know you can see why why this is so powerful that the reason of using this tool would be not to just use the uh, PS exec it's a different tool but you can use it together to make your job easy because now you can create open PS exec on a different machine PS exec on a different machine different machine like this and 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 I got other thing is a powerful macros remember we talked about macros so if you want to do this job autom autom automatic job then all you have to do is to uh, click on macros right here and you will say I want to create a new uh, macro right here so if I want to create a new macro I'm gonna say record new macro and I'm gonna do IP config again and I'm going to save this file now without typing first I'm gonna type it one time and I'm gonna say app server one logs one dash output two dot txt so that's done and you need to stop the macro now and I'm gonna say output log macro so every time I come into this computer and if it's on like this this window is open all I have to do is to click on this macro and then I don't need to type it there you go and now again you can even give this macro a hotkey which you don't even have to do this step then you can just right click on you can go to macros from here right click on it go to edit these logs right here macro and then assign it a hotkey which is F8 I'm just gonna give it F8 and now if I hit F8 on my computer okay that should have worked with F8 alright let's confirm it that we did something I think we did something wrong so F8 okay it is F8 I'm not sure why this is not working but let me just close this again one more time maybe we need to open this and then redo it so the first thing I'm gonna do is to open CMD right here uh, let's do the macro right here so we're done with the macro I'm gonna do F8 now so for some reason my computer this is not liking F8 let me let me change this to another one and see if that works okay that's uh, F11 oh F11 worked now F11 is actually a different uh, hotkey so see Windows is actually taking care of that so what we need to do is to change it to something different like F3 let's try F3 ah there you go so you know if if you're this is a good actually I found it I mean if your hotkey is reserved by your windows and and you know like F11 F12 is used for something different like opening a screen something like that then it won't work then you need to change it to something that is not reserved so I see I clicked on F3 now F3 works so now you and you can you can even automate this I'm not gonna go into that but again that's one way to use this tool to get into other machines through command line other people usually don't notice this they won't know you're doing this uh, this is important when you work on something and you don't want the user to know because they're working on different things and uh, of course you're going to be doing something legal and not doing something illegal for your own work okay so that's one way to do these kind of things right uh, that's an example you can use any other PSX uh, P assist internal tools to use this go ahead and uh, study about it it's pretty powerful another thing that you can do and to monitor other session or trying to help other people is to when you go to new session is VNC now you can watch my other video the PDQ uh, tools video that I have on my uh, let me see if I have that uh, if you go to job skills share and I just created that recently so oh, not this video so if I go to videos right now and this is the one that you need to look PDQ inventory tools and VNC remote management if you can you can use the same method you don't have to use the PDQ inventory tool then you can use the same installation same method by using uh, this tool so if you go to uh, Mobex term so you can you can install a VNC server on that remote machine as a service and install VNC viewer on this machine and then you can click on VNC right here 
uh, you don't even have to actually use the VNC Viewer because this is Viewer. I'm sorry about that. So if you install a VNC service on that machine, you can just type the IP address of that machine or the name, and you can click OK, and this will create the session. Now again, it's a different tool, but you again, it'll give you that management right here on the left side. You can create a folder. You can drop all your machines in there, and from here you can uh, do the VNC. The difference between VNC and RDP will be when you do RDP session, you can use this session right here, RDP, but it will kick the user out uh, and then you log in and that's how it works. Um, but if you do VNC, the VNC could be used for remote troubleshooting when, when a user is on the machine, they have some issue going on and you log in and try to help them out directly. The shell, uh, the this type of stuff, the PSP exact one is the more command line and that's where you log in and gather information or try to do something or, or do a GP update on that machine. So if you want to know the GP, uh, group policy information, you can gather all that information from here. So thank you for watching this video. Hopefully we'll do another video to do some more stuff. Okay, thank you. See you guys in a different video.